Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here, Genetry Solar, and I got something pretty cool here to share with you. This here is the second prototype, or I don't know, pre pre production unit. This is from the same factory at Powerjack, and this is one of our spec transformers, obviously, from, oh shoot, I think it's been almost a year now. And this inverter was running my house uh, perfectly fine uh, for the longest time. I mean, this is the one where I did the long test video, uh, and I had explained some of the issues that I noticed with the transformer that I had to fix, and all that other stuff. This is the old one. And this is the new one that's going to be going in all of the Genetry Solar inverters moving forward. So I had mentioned that there were some significant differences in the transformer build quality for one. Uh, the company that we're using to manufacture these new ones is just absolutely superb when it comes to the build quality. I mean, absolute knock it out of the park. This, this build quality is just absolutely amazing and just... Just look at the size of these terminals, it's crazy. So when you compare this here, I'll see if I can get it down to the point. There's quite a big difference here. I mean, this is crazy. Now, this is not quite apples to apples. Um, the reason that this has three sets of primaries that lead to, essentially lead to the main board that would sit here, um, is because we were originally using these chokes. Now, these are required in order to improve your efficiency, eliminate noise, and things like that. So when I was doing all of my testing, uh, I actually, what I ended up doing with this transformer is I wrapped it three times. There's three turns on each one of these, and I divided it up. I split it into three so that I could wrap three times per choke. And then obviously it went to the main board. Same with the other side. You can see just how wrapped these things are. And this was for me to be able to actually get the efficiency numbers that we were looking for and you know improve basically everything of the, the transformer to get it where we wanted it. I had to do this. You can see some glue here. That's because I was experimenting with the temperatures on these. I mean, this thing has been through the ringer and back. I mean, it really has seen a lot of battles. So um, the fact that it actually is still a working unit is just absolutely amazing, but it is going into retirement. This thing is gonna be retired and it's going to be replaced with this. So this will likely go on my shelf and it'll be another example of our journey uh, along the way but um, so what you can see that there's one two three four five six primaries on this transformer <laughs> and if you look at this absolute spaghetti mess that I've got going on back here you can see <laughs> I had to I mean I had to literally customize this thing and just try to pack these primaries wherever I could but there's a whole lot more individual primaries there's there's three six right here seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen in total for this particular transformer and one of the main reasons was because we were being told by the factory that we could only use a certain size um, terminal and that they didn't have the tools required for bigger ones. So they ended up using the smaller ones and just would be fewer strands per terminal. And that's why you've got this entire mess here. This is basically one primary that's coming out and it's split into three and goes into here because this is a universal transformer, combines with this primary here, again split into three, where we can take this whole chunk right here and we can turn it into this. Just these two represent one, two, three, four, five, six of this chunk here. So imagine how much cleaner and neater this is going to be inside the actual inverter. Now this is not the actual case, not apples to apples again, because this is an exceptionally thin case, even more so than the one that I have run in the house right now. This is a very thin case. Um, they, they, it's a long story, but anyway, uh, so, by basically contracting a company that says, hey, you know what, we can take 
these three here and we can make one primary out of it to one of these terminals, just the right size that we needed, we can weld it and crimp it and heat shrink tube it and add this beautiful protective, whatever this is called, this high temp stuff here, uh, which is actually similar to what you see on the secondaries here, but this stuff is way thicker. Um, they can do all that and voila, there you have it. That's why we only have actual six primaries on here. Whereas this is, oh, what did I say? A dozen 14. So you can see all this mess that I had to deal with when I was trying to figure it out because there was a fan right here. So I had to like, tuck it way back here and hope that it didn't hit the fan. And all these were just kind of laying back here. And this is, this is an airflow restriction, no doubt uh, it is. So having these here, this nice, nice neat, compact kind of setting yes they're they're difficult to move but that's fine we can work them and we can get them to where they're going to be nice and neat compared to uh this now there's absolutely nothing wrong with this it's a perfectly functioning transformer again this is the same transformer that i got that 18 kilowatts out of without realizing it. This is the same transformer that I tested all the way up to 15,000 watts stable. The same transformer that had been running my live streams for the longest time. So there's nothing wrong with it, but compared to this transformer, this one is definitely going to be retired because it is the inferior one of the two. By how much, who knows? 10%, 20%, doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and retire this one. I mean, just look at it. I don't even know if we have enough holes on the new main boards to be able to accept all these because we designed it specifically with this in mind. Of course, this can go down to 24 volts, which would require more of these primaries uh, being attached. But uh, at any rate, so you can see that, you know, as I had mentioned in my long test video, I was extremely disappointed with PowerJack. This is something that I made with actual crimpers uh, with a hydraulic crimper I was extremely disappointed with the ones that were sent from the factory they were falling off so you know I shaved this back and then I, I crimped it down nicely um, so that it can create a nice crimp I did the same thing with all of these basically now I'm not a professional but it was definitely a much better job than what they had provided you can also see how how I wouldn't say tiny but they're definitely smaller secondaries, at least from a size perspective, smaller secondaries than these here. These are definitely thicker. Now, this could be deceiving because maybe it's the same strands and so on down in here, and then they just used a thicker wire up here. That's possible. But this, the quality in these crimps and the fact that they, they were able to weld them just speaks just absolute miles above what we got before again this was this was an earlier kind of pre-production almost prototype so i can't fault them for that much but uh you can see that we have definitely stepped up our game as far as this transformer goes and i'm very excited to be able to actually test it now size wise this thing is just a little bit bigger than this one and you know the, the main reason is because of the wrap that they put on here uh, but size and weight, they're very similar to each other. Um, I believe this one's just a tad bigger. It definitely feels a little heavier, but, um, you know, like I said, they're, they're specced for basically the same performance. This one's just built a lot better, and I know it's going to perform better because of it. So I'm really excited to be able to test that, and that's going to be coming by the end of the week. Um, so there you have it. Yeah, so this... This old gal, so to speak, is going to be going into retirement. Will be going on my wall, uh, my shelf, to be forever displayed. And uh, yeah, so you can see I've got thermistors everywhere, just everywhere. I have thermistors, and because we were trying to monitor different temperature zones on the transformer, the production unit is not going to have this many thermistors. So we're going to have two thermistors on the production unit on the transformer and two on the main board possibly three on the transformer two on the main board we don't need any more than two on the main board you've got your high side and your low side there's no reason to have uh two on the high side or two on the low side it's pretty much pointless 
Um, so we might have three on the transformer, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, the the build quality is outstanding. As a matter of fact, I got to figure out where I'm going to put the thermistors on here because I don't. I really, honestly, don't want to just glue the thermistors to the side here. I don't see this plastic being able to conduct the heat. I want to be able to get it right to the metal. So whether that means cutting out a little slit and then gluing it to that or just taking this wrap off altogether, I will definitely be figuring that out. But the worst thing is to just set it right on top. It is not, there's so much air gap here. You're not going to get an accurate reading. You really need to be touching the metal that is that is actually transferring the heat outward from the uh, the you know the air from the center of the transformer and so on the core. Um, you really got to be able to touch that metal because if you just have plastic on it, it's really not going to do uh, a great job of transferring that heat and being very accurate. So I can honestly say that it's this wrap is probably going to go. I mean, for that reason alone, um, I don't want to be taking a knife here, an exacto knife, and try to cut this out without hurting these. It's just probably the way that we're going to go, but we haven't made a final decision on that yet. This one never was wrapped. It never had wrap, so whatever. Um, but the new one will have rubber pads underneath this transformer bolt. And this thing hung on my wall for, uh, I don't know, eight, nine months or so. And this one bracket held it into place perfectly fine. So we're going to have two on the final design, but this one bracket held the transformer in place perfectly fine. So... I'm uh, not anticipating that that's going to be an issue. But anyways, there, I just wanted to make a comparison for you. Um, you can see <laughs> how uh, some burn damage here, and this is from all the different testing and overloading and screwing up and all this other stuff that we've done with these things. So we learned a lot. Uh, but uh, at any rate, this uh, she's definitely going to go onto the wall or onto the shelf. And uh, it has been a great inverter that got me through... Well, all of last spring and summer, at the very least, and some of the fall uh, got me through there and performed excellent. Yes, we had issues because I was pushing it and I was doing all sorts of things. And this was right around the time that um, Sid was trying to figure out why we were getting those random blow-ups. Um, we figured that out. Uh, so this inverter has been through a lot. I mean, it really has. And so we're pleased to finally retire it and put it on the wall and make way for this transformer going into that inverter. It is gonna be awesome. All right, well, there you have it. Again, I'll remind you that uh, the prices on the website are going to be increasing and the free shipping will be gone as soon as we get the first batch and we start shipping them out. That is gonna go. Uh, the prices are going to go up at least $100 on each unit, probably more. So if you want the cheaper price, get your pre-order in now if you don't mind waiting uh, a couple of months. But um, this is a beautiful transformer. That is a beautiful inverter over there. And I'm extremely excited to be able to get these to you with a substantial improvement in build quality and that's gonna definitely translate into performance no doubt especially with this monster so there you have it if you have any questions let me know 833 genetry toll free monday through friday nine to four eastern daylight time genetrysolar.com thanks again for all of your support as always and take care